One, two, three. Here we go. Manju, there, there, there's, there's the company. They only have like a Japanese voice trailer at the moment, but it looks really good. They're already getting me with the underwater animations already. It looks beautiful. Immediately looks beautiful. Giant whales. Fast open world. Lots of creatures. Colorful. Anime art style. It's already checking off things. a lot of things for me. Uh, uh-oh. I guess there's furries too. Oh dear. I don't know anything about this game, by the way. I'm just enjoying it. Okay, full on furries, I guess. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, there's another one. Okay. I think these are all just gonna be animal creatures, aren't they? Hello? Raftalia's in the game too? Okay, she looks human. That one's human, right? <laughs> Please tell me there's at least some that's like full on humans. Shaman. It's cute. Okay, they're, they're all cute, actually. Oh dear. Oh my. Ooh, wing person? Is that a little furry too? Is that playable or is that like the Paimon of the game? Mounts? Genshin could never! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, did that bird just turn bigger? Well, I'm- I'm- I'm in. They showed mounts, I'm in. really showing off that redhead a lot, aren't they? Hello? Azure Promilia. Le Voyage? That's French. So we're starting off with Fontaine, I see, because of the French, right? Wait, that guy? I didn't even notice a guy. Which guy are you talking about? I only saw waifus. <laughs> Where was the guy in us, all of this? Hello? I mean, yeah, they're showing Kate, like cute animals, cute girls, lots of furries for, for those of you that are into it. I mean, we cute facial expressions too. This game has this game has a lot her. Yeah, her. Um, Archer, which always interests me. Okay, wait. I I'm I'm tanned wing girl. I uh, mm. well I'm definitely yep yep I I mm. Mm. this is this this could be problematic for me. But they also showed mounts, sky wheels. That's always cool. But mounts and not only mounts, flying mounts already. So this th the fact that we have mounts could be indicative of how big the world could be because then this is a faster means of travel. Unless the whole mount thing is just locked behind cutscenes, which is fine, I guess. But yeah, color me very interested in this game. Let's see what other people are saying. In the beginning. Okay, fine. Let's let's find this husband of, of yours. Oh, him. He's probably the blacksmith. Man, it really went detailed on the side muscles, though. Holy smokes, they, they built him. He's He's definitely looking like blacksmith. And that's like his little assistant and a helper pet. Right there, there. there. There's the whole narrative. This is probably not an in-game trailer, but they're really showing a village just full of life and, like, animals. I don't know if that's going to be how it is in-game, but, you know, time will tell. Lots of animals. You can even ride the wolf. I'm, I'm kind of sold. I'm kind of sold. They also have these little chibi creatures as well, and she's hilarious. She does remind me of Reftalia from, um, 
Rex's shield here about like like raccoon tail. <laughs> also, the facial expressions are hilarious. I really hope this is in the game. I really hope like, she's hilarious. Like hilarious. Um, I knew about her. She was teased earlier a while ago or whatever. You didn't even read the subtitles because of how much was on screen. I agree. There was a lot happening on screen. I was not paying too much attention to the subtitles. I mean, at first I was because there wasn't too much happening on screen, but then it's like they just like hit us with so many visual things. But we're not done with this yet. Wait, there was subtitles? Yes. Look, lady, be careful. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Uh, we're not done yet because ha I have their official website right over here. Um, that looked like Mondstadt. Oh, there's Dragon Spine. <laughs> I haven't pre-registered yet. I, I should probably do that. I'm going to have to do that off stream. There's robots too. What is this game? This is Fontaine. Uh, this is... Sumeru? Look at these creatures. There's so much... Wait, there's music here. Oh, it's beautiful. And her! Oh, oh, oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. I need to see that again. I need to see that again. Jesus. <laughs> oh no! Is she wearing a G? Nah, yeah, ay, ay, ay. Wait, 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 wait. CNN and GP voices. Terrara, Furian. They're not even trying to hide that she's. I mean, the, the big tail gives it away, but like, her race is literally, literally called Furian. I, I, I can't simp for this. Uh, the self-proclaimed best hunter in Charlulu Village. Oh, she's a wolf girl. Uh, to protect her loved ones. Oh, I wonder who her loved ones are. Um, uh, with element curiosity of the outer world, she often leaps into she's like a tad audacious. And she wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. No, she has two legs. She's wearing a boot. She her she wears like one leg shows off the thighs and the bare legs, and the other one has a knee high boot. So that it tightens around the uh, thighs, just like this little piece of string is doing, you know. It's all it's all about that style. Yoda! That's what I'm saying, Corn. That is most likely a G-string. I mean, wolves like to be a little bit free, don't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, she's cute. Oh man, they're really going with the same style. One bare leg and one knee high or thigh high legging. She's cute. And she's human! Oh, she only has a CN voice. Our lovely and confident girl. Always on the hunt for hidden treasures armed with a unique blend of martial arts and engineering sa savvy. She breezes through every adventure. Okay. Cute. Her name is Han Yo Yo. Hand me your yo yo. What does she mean by that? oh uh oh blue haired girl? Oh my weakness. Oh she has the Nilu horns. Okay. Sh Shale Sha Sha. Why does she have two names? She's in High Elf. Also, god dang, she be piercing people with that thing. A variant peg. Oh she's a Pegasus knight. Oh heck yes. A gentle art comes even the wildest creatures. This I read Bond as Bonk accidentally in my head. I'm gonna need a Bonk soon. Um, I've trust extends to her Kibo. What's her Kibo? Oh, her wait. Laurelay, which imposing ones. She has an insatiable appetite that truly turns people. Oh, she has that kind of quirk. <laughs> Azura and Asolfo mix together? Ain't no way. Oh gosh. I like that per Oh, is this the first lolly? Oh, she's hilariously cute. Oh, she's a panda! Her race is Pammy? Pei Pei? That is such a cute name. They made her- I mean, they made the- the- they made the chibis really chibi. Holy smokes. Uh, GE Pavilion, uh, Jingwa Cape. Where crowds flock to most delicious cuisine. Is she a cook? Oh, she's the best waitress? How is she, how is she supposed to wait tables at her size? Uh, she's a kung fu. Of course the panda does kung fu. 
Oh, she's adorable. Those kitchen chefs aren't shy about swinging their heavy metal. No, damn. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, she's, bruh. She's a stepping. Wait. Oh, she. <laughs> she can use that as a stepping stool. Yikes. Okay, another one. <laughs> she's hilarious. She wields a giant hammer, the thumbs up with the serious face and the goggles. She's... What is she? Oh, she's also a Pammy. Wait. I guess Pammy doesn't mean Panda. I guess... I guess there's just a race called Pammy that are just uber short? I guess? I think that's how it is. Uh, from the Pammy Adventure Duo, it's... Oh, they're a duo. They were in the trailer together, weren't they? No, they weren't. There was a... What is the Rufitalia character? Her name's Nono? I am super cute. To how deep they could explore Nono's top priority priorities eat, rest, and anything shiny. Based. I should speak louder than words for Nono when it comes to chatting. Better leave that to the partner. Who's the partner though? Yeah, basically dwarves. With animal features. Oh, that would make sense. Huh? Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Damn. Okay, wait, let's find out what... Wait, there's boss too? Wait, what's Kibo? Are these the... Pets? Are Kibo pets? Is there like... Wait, what's this? Ooh. Oh, that's cute. If you pet its head, its leafy tail will fan out like a peacock. I like... I actually really like this stuff. Um, cab birds? Oh, they're cabbage birds. What simple names? They're very effective. Wait, so if you eat these, are you still con are, 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 are can you still be considered a vegetarian? I don't want to kill that. Yeah, this thing's cute. I think the next one's gonna be even cuter. Umi. Wait, how many legs did it have? Is that six legs? Is it hiding? It's so look. It looks so stupidly cute. What the heck? Wait, they live in pots? Numur has it that if a coin stays in the jar after one toss, the wish will be granted. Oh, they do the long cat thing. These are the cats of the game. Like, they even like boxes. Try pulling the Ubi out and who knew it would be this lengthy? They are lengthy, aren't they? You hoot. I wish I could click them and make them interact. They have a soft body that, that can squeeze into just about any space. They are cats. Uh, sit empty for a while, you might find Umi inside somehow eventually. When it comes to fitting into tight spots, they are true masters. They are the cats of this world. Umbreon? Umbreon times a hundred cuteness, honestly. What is this? Oh, little fairies! Lepidelic. Interesting. How small are these, though? Oh, Tsundere. Right there. This is uh, very much a Paimon face. Drawn to accessories as fancy as its wings it with a shiny hairpin or two won't shy away from dancing with intelligent species when it is in a good mood oh that's cute they communicate by dancing in circles man they're, they're, they've given these creatures a lot of lore already approach your nest recklessly might provoke the unique magic they wield what kind of magic do they wield though paimon but actually a fairy i know right <laughs> <gasps> what's the what's the ice type vulpix called again because this, this is it times a thousand cuteness. Snow wolf. Oh, the house. Oh, it's a wolf. Cute. All oh, the little twitchy ears. A little vulpix. Yeah. You're definitely not surviving in this game. I don't think these are the creatures that you fight. I'm hoping these are the creatures that you can have as pets. Please tell me these are the creatures you can tame. I want them to be tameable. I think it's illegal for a game to be made with creatures this cute and none of them are tameable or like can be used as pets or partners or whatever. The most devoted gar guardian of Charlulu village. I think they are your friends. If this one's a garden, a guardian of a village, we don't fight them. We, 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 we live side by side with them. And it's cub form. Oh, that mean we kept to raise cubs and make them grow into stronger creatures like Pokemon. Might even capture villagers' hearts. They've already captured all our hearts. More than its majestic adult counterpart. I want to see this adult counterpart, honestly. Oh, so cute. This could be like... Damn, its tail swirls to form a wolf nato when it's happy. I want to see that in action, though. That better get animated in-game. 
during wait during feeding it will it will roam all over the house cute Ebo means hope in, ja in Japanese is Azure Lane a Chinese game or a Japanese developed game bloomy oh, that thing's kind of cute this one seems a little plain compared to all the others but I mean it looks fluffy enough holy sheesh that's its back yo they were hiding stuff from me that thing's scary actually I guess it scares off its predators by like revealing this kind of like what some butterflies do don't mess with me cute that makes it cute also wait can you have ones with bow ties on it it's long fur is always a mess so intelligent species kindly give it a bow intelligent species hilarious i guess we play as the intelligent species we get the kubo or kibo as pets or friends and then the bosses are enemies by using its long fur, those are not ears. Those are not ears? A uh, whole crazy. First item plus that eye pattern on its back. Pure camouflage, yeah. All right, last but not least. Oh, this thing looks goofy as all heck. Is that, is that mushroom? Diz room? These rooms in these, you know what? I'm not gonna end it. It's a mushroom creature, that's hilarious. And it has the confusing eyes cause shrooms make you go psychedelic. That's hilarious. It also looked like that Pokemon. Spinda. Yeah, there we go. Spinda but mushroom themed. They love listening to music, drifting and wandering around. They're high 100% of the time. Always faceplant while walking. Yep. Yep. They're... <laughs> they're constantly high. <laughs> a mushroom or a twisted little creature. It's not just a hallucination if you're allergic to spores. This thing's hilarious. So which ones, uh, which ones are your favorite? My favorite, it's either the cat or the fox. Like, hands down. No questions asked, it's between those two. The fox or the wolf, sorry, I want to raise into like a fighting partner. Whereas the Umi, I just want to like return home after a long day of work and just like pick it up and watch it stretch to comfort me after a long day of work. And the other one on the right of it. Oh, this one? Yeah, this one's pretty good too. All right, let's take a look at what these bosses, what this boss means. Oh! Oh, the actual enemies. Oh, hello. A monster Shadow Blaze. That's a cool name. It's a tiger dragon. That I don't even know what element. That looks like flames. Blue flames? Tiger dragon? Or saber tooth dragon? Dude, this is a saber tooth dragon. Amalgamation of diverse biological uh, features that make it completely unique, driven by an insatiable desire of consuming. It sees even its own kind as potential prey cannibalism. It's about the size of 20 or more pa pammies. Wait, are pammies really small or is this guy really big? Also, what are you doing with this, with her? So by the resort to playing dead when they encounter it in an attempt to escape. Oh, also it's tail. Look at that. That thing's huge. Um, there we go. What's this? Spite horn. Ooh, devil vulture. A massive raptor with menacing horn spikes, a flap of its wings bring forth gales of and frost with its piercing cries of Amal. It's considered a sinister omen, sh foreshadowing withering and doom. So basically the absol of this game of this game. This thing's cool though. Oh my gosh. Why are you showing them getting picked up? Up up there in the top 13 most feared creatures by Pammies? Really? Most Pammies are afraid of being picked up by the talons and soaring in the sky. How unfortunate. These dwarf creatures fear everything for relief on hot days, but be careful because they could easily get frozen. Wait, they freeze you? This does not look like an ice type. How do they freeze you? I am so confused. Corviknight if it was a legendary and was possessed by a demon. Last but not least, Phantom Fly. That just looks like a bigger version of that Kibo. Oh, it did the wink. Oh, it did the wink. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, it does just look like a more the the adult form of that things. Is this what those little fairies turn into? Or is this like the queen version of them? Claims to spawn in a top five list of creatures that Pammies think are beautiful. They are pretty. And clothing is made of petals. Showcasing those slender legs. Showcasing those slender le legs. Why do you gotta like indicate that? Honestly, they're kind of looking kind of thick, but um... <laughs> We move on, displacing their elegant aesthetics. We're doing more than just elegance with that one. A phantom tail hidden deep in the mistly forest drawn by profound yearnings yet. 
Authentic yet elusive as if dreaming wide awake, it is truly a fairy butterfly beyond one's reach. Paimon's true form? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Something behind your drought with your health would be drained? Yeah. Unfortunately, I want to know what no, I okay, no, no. You know what? Before I agree with you, Borger, I want to know what the size of this thing is. Wait, actually, was it in notes? Yeah, there's no indication of what the size of this thing is. So I hold I hold back. I hold back from agreeing with you, Borker, because if this thing is the size of a Paimon, I'm out. <laughs> Just saying, I need to be sure. I need to be sure. How big is this thing? Um, wait, there's so many things I can click on. Um, what's this? Crims, wait, Crimsonor? Crimsonor, that's a, that's a name and a half. Know nothing about them besides what they look like. Okay. How do you know they're 7 feet 8 inches? God damn if they are though. Mystery Rain, Jungle Brew, Changing Seasons. Okay. Lulu Village, Stars, Pink Girls there. Um, Creatures to be- okay. Wolves. Wolves are here. Good to know. Southern Valley. The Wind Girl. Interested in that. Mounts. I wish they showed more about the world than this. Crumpler. Uh, that's another creature to fight. What's this? Ooh! Weed- we wait, wheel deer? Wheel deer. What does that mean? That looks like interesting creature. Lab bee? Lab- Unknown- wait. Unknown industrial civilization. Unable to explore? Oh, that's- wow. They make it look clickable and then they give us this notification. Wow, okay. Okay, what's this? Okay, oh, wait, wait, I can click on these. Interesting. So, concept art of some of the locations and some of the creatures. So, are we- wait, is she trying to save them from these boars? Also, what are those things on the boars? Also, is that Devalin out there? No, that's the- that's the vulture thing. That thing's huge! I guess it's a boss, not just a regular creature you fight around. So, I guess that makes sense. Futuristic city? I'm assuming that's Lieb or Labby or however you- wait. Why is this thing so big? Is this another boss? Is there a giant form of the cabbage birds? I am very interested in the world. I w I, I, I'm like set on exploring this world already because I'm like already... My curiosity has been hit. I want to know more about this world. Um, of course they add China to the game. Interesting. I think... I think that's it. I think that's that's the, that's all they have to show. And if you're interested, you can pre-register for it already if you so choose. And uh yeah, I'm I'm curious. I I do want to know more. I'm very interested. I like already want to explore the world, but I kind of want to know more about the gameplay and what kind of kind of what kind of direction it's going for because they definitely didn't show like a, a, a like a story that they're following. They kind of just showed the characters that we can play as, the pets, the mounts, the world. And that honestly for now, that's that's good enough for me. That's honestly at the moment really good enough for me. I'm very interested in this game. More and more things are coming my way that's just telling me not to play Zenla Zone 0 unless Zenla Zone 0 really shows me that they get rid of the stupid TV game. And this is one of them. Holy smokes, does this game look beautiful.